Hello everyone, welcome to a new lesson with me, Miss Gladys. Bonjour! Welcome everybody to a new lesson of this channel, Miss Gladys. For today's lesson, we're going to be learning French grammar for beginners. So today I'm going to show you demonstrative adjectives. In French, we say les adjectifs démonstratifs. So this S right here. So you have to carry the sound of this letter. Les. Okay. Les adjectifs démonstratifs. So maybe you already know by now that final S is never pronounced. What are these adjectives for? I'm going to read this in French first, and then I'm going to translate for you. Les adjectifs démonstratifs désignent des choses ou des personnes présentes, proches ou lointaines. Demonstrative adjectives indicate present things or people that are close or far from us. For example, look at this picture. You have two ladies there. They are in a museum, let's say, and one of them is showing the painting. And she says, Regarde ce tableau. Il est super. Look at this painting. It's super. It's cool, right? So because she's very close to this painting, she can use ce. And also because the word tableau in French is masculine and in this case is singular too. All right, let's see another example. These two ladies are also in a museum and one of them is also pointing to a painting. But what's the difference besides there are two different people in a different painting? The painting it's a little bit far away from them, right? It's not as close as this one. It's a little bit far away. So she's gonna say, Regarde ce tableau là-bas, il est magnifique. Used again, ce, because we are using the same word. The thing is we have more distance this time. So we're gonna add là-bas, là-bas, which means like over there. So the translation will be, look at that painting over there. It is magnificent. In French, this adjective is very used and it doesn't sound exaggerated. So people use it when they really like something. Let's continue. Look at this guy, he's sitting over there with his laptop and he says, Cet ordinateur est très rapide. The translation is, this computer is very fast. So what do you see here? He has an object. He's pointing to an object that is close to him. I already said that we normally use se for these cases. So why here we used se with a T at the end? Simple because the following word starts by O, by a vowel. So when this happens, and um, even if it's a masculine word, doesn't matter, you're going to write C-E-T, and this T has to sound, okay? Because normally with articles, we carry the sound of the final letter to the next word if the word starts by vowel. So, cet ordinateur. Probably you have seen something like this, cet. That's different. And then normally we use it with the verb être. Here we don't have verb être. All right, let's continue. Almost the same case is a guy with a computer too, but he's looking towards another one, another computer that is a little bit far away. He says, Oh la la, je préfère cet ordinateur là-bas. Probably you already have uh, heard this expression, oh la la. It could express surprise or and the person is tired so depending of the tone of the person who's talking you're going to realize if the person is surprised or tired etc so i prefer that 
computer over there. It's like that computer, right? Because it's over there. Here, we could say this computer is very fast. This, because it's closed. Here will be that computer over there. All right? So in French, we need to add la bas to differentiate one to another. Um, not like in English, you have two different words. You say this and you say that. And we understand already the distance. But in French, you need la bas, which means over there. Okay? And then we have this lady here. She's talking about this car. And she says, Je veux acheter cette voiture. Je veux acheter cette voiture. I want to buy this car. I want to buy this car. Car is close to her. That's why she used set, this car. So now we have set. It's a different word, right? So the word changed a little bit just because the word voiture in French is feminine which means car. So that's why we used set. Let's say we're still talking about a car, but this car is a little bit more far away. So he says, Regarde cette voiture là-bas. Elle est très moderne. Look at that car over there. It is very modern. So we used set again, but we added là-bas just because it's a little bit more far away. Let's see this guy is watching TV at his place. And he says, J'aime ce film américain. J'aime ce film américain. So, the word film, which means movies, it's in plural. That's why we have used C. But let's say that this person is talking about something that he likes that is a little bit more far away. He's going to say, J'aimerais lire ce livre là-bas. I would like to read those books over there. So we used say again, C-E-S. We cannot pronounce this S because the following word doesn't start by vowel but consonant, right? And then you have to add là-bas to make sure you are talking about something that is a little bit more far away from you. Récapitulation des adjectifs démonstratifs. Here is a little summary. Récapitulation means summary of what we have learned today. Ce plus non masculin singulier. It means that you're going to use this ce plus a masculine word, which is singular too. C-E-T plus non masculin singulier commençant par H ou voyelle. So you're going to use this word, C-E-T plus, a singular masculine word that starts by H or vowel. Set plus non féminin singulier. Set, C-E-T-T-E plus, plus a singular feminine word. It doesn't matter if the word starts by H or vowel. If it's feminine, you can use this word. You don't have to change anything. And finally, we have C plus non masculin ou féminin pluriel. C plus plural word. Doesn't matter if it's feminine or masculine. You can have all this information. You can download it from my website, talkwithgladys.com. Les adjectifs démonstratifs désignent aussi une période de temps proche ou en cours. Demonstrative adjectives can also indicate a period of time near or in progress. For example, ce soir, cette semaine, cet automne. For example, this evening, this week. This fall. So not just for objects, you can also use it for time. Avec jour et mois, on utilise si. With these two words, jour, which means days, and mois, which means month, you have to use 
this dash c i. For example, ce mois-ci, ce jour-ci. So this month, this day. Using this ce, only this ce, it's not enough. You need to add this to be more specific that you're talking about this month or this day. Pour marquer l'éloignement, on ajoute la. So to indicate the remoteness of time, you have to add the word la plus a dash, okay, like this. Ce mois-là, ce jour-là. It could be something in the past, it could be something in the future. All right, but you're not talking about this month or this day. So it's a day that is far away from the moment that you are talking about. Ce mois-là, it could be last month. Okay, ce mois-là, ce jour-là, okay, that day, that month. Let's do an activity. Activité. Complétez avec un article démonstratif. You only have to complete with a demonstrative adjective. Je connais, space, restaurant. I know, blank, restaurant. So look at this word. Is it masculine? Is it feminine? Is it plural? And, um, and then you have to choose between the four options we saw today. Letter B, tu achètes lunettes. Letter C, elle mange crêpes. D. Ils adorent plage. I. E, nous restons dans hôtel. So please try to complete this. Leave me your answers in the comments and I'm going to be checking on you and let you know if you did good or if you have any mistakes. Also, you can find the answers in my website if you want to go and check it out, talkwithgladys.com. I will appreciate your support. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up, comment below, subscribe, and I will see you in our next lesson. Merci beaucoup et à la prochaine.